In this video, we'll create a C-sharp script that enables us to highlight game objects when we hover over them and also select them using the mouse and deselect them as well. And also ignore the game objects that we don't want to select and or highlight and also avoid highlighting the game objects when they are behind a UI element. To start, I've created a number of game objects with the plane and I added materials to them using the, uh, I created a number of materials in the materials folder under the assets and assigned the materials to the game objects. And um, so now wh what we need to do is to select the game objects that we need to be able to be selectable and highlight. So in this case, I don't need the plane to be selectable. Uh, everything else would need to be. So I'll just select these game objects over here and I'll go to the tag and we'll add a tag and press plus and just type selectable with capital S and save. So, and now if I uh, select them again, not including the plane and just tag the selectable to them. So they all have a selectable uh, tag and in the materials folder that I've created, I had two uh, materials. One is magenta highlight and the other one is magenta selected. And these are materials that I want to be uh, uh, assigned to the game objects when it's been highlighted or hover over. And the other one when the game object is being selected. And that's it. So next I'll create an empty game object that will assign the script to. So create empty and we'll name it selection. And then I'll create a script under the assets. I'll create a new folder. We'll name it scripts. And inside that new folder, we'll create a C sharp file. We'll name it selection. And once the C sharp file created, I'll drag it to the selection uh, empty game object. I'll drag it to the selection empty game object and click on it to make sure it's there. And I'll double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. In the C sharp file, I added a new namespace for event systems and have two, created two uh, public variables to hold the materials for the highlight and the selection and number of private variables. And then this block un under the update method, I have a block that handle the highlight. So first, if the highlight is not null, if there is a highlight, we're just going to uh, reset its material to the original material, the game object original material, and then we make it as null, reset it. And then we'll create a raycast, uh, which is, this is the raycast object, and we'll have a ray, raycast. And then here in the F block, we'll check if um, th this part here to check if the mouse or the pointer is not over a, a UI element because you don't want to select the object behind a UI element when there is a UI element in front. And here to see if the Raycast has captured a game object. And then here we'll get uh, a highlight game object will equal to the return game object from the Raycast. And we'll check if it's its tag would be selectable. That's mean we we are tagged it to be one of the game objects that be able to be highlighted and selectable. And if the highlight is not the selection, at the first time we do that, we just capture the original material uh, uh, before we apply the highlight. So later we could bring back the original material to the game object, assign it to it when the highlight is not there. So just to, to keep record of what uh, previous uh, material was on the game object before we apply the highlight. And then uh, otherwise, if, if that's not happening, we just clear the highlight. And here, this is the block for the selection. So when the left click mouse, uh, when the left mouse is clicked, and when there um, is no UI element up front, when the mouse is not on UI element, and here we're checking if the selection is there, not null. We just, um, when the click happen, uh, the we get the, uh, we, we, we set the selection material to the original material we capture over here 
and then we clear the selection and if the uh, and uh, also we check here if the mouse is not over the ui game uh, ui element and if the ray cast return a, a hit then we uh, assign the return game object to this to be the selection and then if the selection is selectable has the tag we assign a material to it and that's it so if i'll just go through the code so you could copy it if you need this is the first part and this is the second part that's it so if i save go back to the editor select the selection game object which has a script to it and then we'll go to the materials and these are the two materials this is for the highlight i'll just drag it to the highlight spot and this is for the selection sorry i'll just drag it to the selection material spot so now if i click the play button will notice if I hover over the game object, they got hovered materials. And then when I move the uh, mouse, the, the original materials return to them. If I select the game object, it gets selected. And if I want to deselect, I will just deselect outside, it gets deselected. And when there is a button or a UI element, the object doesn't get selected. That's it, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.